after they've spawned, or I mean really a good bait anytime is a soft plastic jerk bait. This is a big bite bait's jerk shad. I mean, it's like a lot of them, it's a five inch bait. I like this bait here because it's got just a small little groove in the top where I can put my hook and I throw it. As windy as it is today, I'm actually throwing it on a four rod extra wide gap Gamagatsu hook. And I put a little nail weight in here. I mean, if it was calmer, I might not throw that as much, the weight in here as much, uh, but I needed to get down a little bit. These fish, I'm, I've seen several on the light scope in three and four foot of water around these stumps. And, and I just, I make a long cast with 12 pound sunline sniper and I fish it pretty erratic with pauses. And when it, you know, looks like a dying wounded bait fish going down and they'll, you know, sometimes you feel the bite, sometimes you see the bite, sometimes it just takes off and, and you don't really feel anything. So it's just, it's a bait that I love to throw, especially when that water temperature gets 65 to about 72 and fish in this manner. Now I'll throw it on a Texas rig too. I'll put a little bitty lightweight and hop it around. I know guys that'll throw it on Carolina rig. I mean, it's just, it's a really versatile bait, but in this case, in this scenario here, when fish are done spawning, I mean, I really think they get on it really good. And you can go down these old rocky banks. I mean, there's another fish right there. I just made a long cast out off that rocky bank. Pick this one up. And that one hit it pretty aggressively. He choked on it. You can tell another good healthy one. They like it when they bite it. I can't buy anything, don't you? Good. Ready? Cool.